Hi guys, welcome back to Practice Lab. In this video, I'm going to solve two problem statements which were asked in one of the interviews conducted by TCS. The candidate had around 2.8 years of experience working as a Java developer. And apart from Java, he was having knowledge about writing REST APIs, Spring Boot, and little about microservices as well. Okay, when we solved these two problem statements, he was selected and he was offered a CTC of 10.5 LPM. Apart from these two problem statements, which were related to coding, there were some very questions related to uh, Spring Boot and microservices as well, and he answered most of these questions. Now, let us see what was the first problem statement. I will try to solve that problem statement and then we'll move to the next problem statement. Okay, so here you can see first problem statement was he was given a number and he was asked to check if that number is available in the given list, but he had to use Java 8 Spring APIs to check that. Okay, so you can consider this as an input list 1 to 10. And then he was asked to check if 5 is available in that list or not. Okay. So you can see the 5 is available in that list. So my output should print that 5 is present in the list. Otherwise, the number is not present in the list if the number is not available. Okay. So here you can see I have written a class number check. And inside that, I have written a main method, which is going to be starting point for our program execution. Next thing is I need to declare a list of numbers. So I'm going to use list from java.util. And this list is going to hold numbers. I'm going to declare it as list of integer. That is, I'll declare it as numbers equal to arrays dot as list. This will give me a list. And I'm going to initialize this list with the numbers from the problem statement. So I'll copy these numbers from the problem statement and I'll paste it here. Now I got the list of numbers. Next thing is I need to check the number which is available in list or not. So for that, I'm going to take number to check and this is going to be five. So I'm going to check if this five is available into the given list or not. Okay. Next thing is I need to solve this problem statement using stream API. So I need to convert this list into streams. So I'm going to use numbers dot stream function to convert this list into a stream. And then I need to use a function which will be used to check if the number is available in the list or not. And for that, I'm going to use any match function. So this any match function checks whether the given number is available or matching with any number in the given stream and returns a Boolean value. If the number is matching with any number in the list, then it is going to return true. Otherwise, it is going to return false. So here I'm going to use any match function and here I need to pass the condition which will be used to check if the given number is available in that list or not. So here now such so that num is equal equal to number to check. So if the number in stream is equal equal to the number which is number to check. So if this number is matching then I will get a boolean value as true. So here I'm going to store the result into a variable of type boolean. Okay. So if the number is available in that list or matches with any number, then I'll get is present as true. Otherwise, I'll get is present as false. So I'll check if is present is true, then I'll print this out the number is present in the list else this out the number is not present in the list okay now i'm done with the writing code so let's run this by right clicking run as java application so here you can see the number is present in the list which is correct output. Now let me modify the number and see if my code works correctly. Right click and run a Java application. So here you can see the number is not present in the list, which is as expected because the 15 is not available in that list. Next problem statement was to check if all the numbers in the list are divisible by five using Java estimate page. Okay, so again, he was provided a list of numbers and he was asked now to check if all those numbers are divisible by five using Java 8 stream APIs. Okay, so consider this is going to be the list of numbers. Okay, and now you have to check if this 
all numbers are divisible by five or input number. Okay, so if if these all numbers are divisible by five, then you have to print all the numbers are divisible by five. Otherwise, you, if the numbers are not divisible by five, then you have to print that all the numbers are not divisible by five. Okay, so let's see how to do this. So here I'm going to comment out this code. I'll simply check. I'll create a list using arrays dot as list. I'll keep the same list and then I'm going to check if all the numbers are divisible by five. So I'll again take same uh, number to check as a variable which will be used to hold the input number. Next thing is I need to use stream page. So I'm going to again convert that list into a stream using stream function. And then I'm going to use again another function which is all match. So this all match function returns whether all elements of the stream matches the provided condition. It returns true if all the <coughs> elements of the stream matches the provided condition. Otherwise, it returns false. Okay, so here you can see all match and here I'm going to pass the condition. And the condition is going to be such that if number is divisible 5 and I'm getting reminder at 0. So number mod 5 is equal equal to 0. That means the number is divisible by 5. And I'm getting reminder at 0. Okay, so if that condition is satisfied, then I will get the result as a Boolean value, which will be a true value. So here again, I'm going to use a Boolean value and is all match equal to numbers dot stream dot all match. So this all match function will check if all the numbers are satisfying this condition or not. So if all numbers satisfy this condition, then it will return true. Otherwise it will return false. So again, I'm going to use check if is all match, then I will simply print sysout all the numbers are divisible else I will print sysout all the numbers are not divisible. Okay, so here you can extend this by saying number two. Check. Okay, all the numbers are not divisible by input. Okay, now let's run this code and see the output. So here you can see all the numbers are not divisible by you because 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, these numbers are not divisible by you. So what I will do, I will take the numbers from the problem statement. I will copy this and I will paste it here. Okay, now my all numbers are divisible by you. So let us see how it goes. So here you can see all the numbers are divisible by 5. Okay, guys, so that's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you need any assistance to crack the interviews, you can connect us at practice lab23 at directgmail.com.